One of the first videos I ever made when I started this channel, um, I had this character I called like Judicator Iden, who was like a faith build, um, which at the time I thought was a pretty nifty build, because um, he just, you know, was a faith build that had um, a lightning infused like Lothar Culture Greatsword. Um, and I was like, hey, that's a pretty cool build. Um, and now I've gotten a lot better, and now I'm using a lot more cool things, um, and I realized that I kind of used up all the slabs on that character on stupid shit like chimes and talismans and other dumb crap. Um, so I remade, remade this faith build um, and named him Iden the Younger as kind of like a reimagined better invader and uh, spear of the church. Along with being like an invader and a spear of the church, um, the other thing I really wanted to do is uh, be a blade of the dark moon or a blue sentinel. Um, I had wanted to try that for a really long time. And it really kind of sucks. Like, this is your whole life. Is it, Like, every other blue, you know, summon that you get, um, the host is already dead. Um, and you get a summon about once every 45 minutes. Um, and then when you finally do get a summon, oftentimes, the host is a complete fucking idiot. Um, so one of the reasons I wanted to, you know, make this, this build be a blue especially, um, is because fighting other invaders is way more fun than fighting your billionth solo host who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Like, you know, absolutely smashing a solo host who has no clue how to, you know, play PvP in this game um, is not nearly as fun as being, like, beating a more talented um, invader. Um, like I was saying, um, the hosts, most of the time when you're a blue, are complete fucking idiots. Like, these these guys who, you know, decided to run past Madeir or maybe go backwards? I don't know how they ended up on the other side of Madeir before he gets there, but... They decided this would be a good idea, and it almost immediately kills them. Good lord! But, you know, that's that's just kind of what it's like to be a blue spirit, is, is seeing that message a million times. Another thing that can kind of suck about being a blue um, is that you wait all this time to get summoned, and then you show up, and the invader dies in like three seconds in a blender of spells and greatswords. Um, so that can you know, kind of defeat the purpose of what I want to do with this, which is fight people. But other times you get, like, a, you get summoned for a fight that is, like, exactly what you feel like the way of blue is supposed to do. Um, like, against a, a talented invader, um, or someone at least who knows what they're doing, um, and then a host who really doesn't, um, that's when you kind of feel like, yeah, you know, this is, this is what the way of blue is for, is to, you know, try to balance out the, the skill disparity between invaders and hosts who are just trying to play the game. A good example of is like right here where I'm, you know, backstabbing this uh, with parry, um, which as an invader, I don't think I've ever been like backstabbed or parried by um, someone in a, in a blue covenant. Um, pretty, pretty much ever. I would, I would remember that if I could. Um, you'll occasionally find like talented, um, you know, blue sentinels or uh, blade of the dark moons, but um, it's, it's always fun to run into one, so I'm hoping that this invader also enjoyed this. Another thing that's cool is having to, uh, contend with, uh, PvE again. Um, as an invader, you kind of just use, um, the enemies in, in the level as, you know, something that's, you know, there to provide you cover. Um, you can always run behind them if things are getting a little too hairy. Um, but this is, it's nice to have to contend with it, I guess, um, is kind of what I'm saying. Um, you know, like now... The, the stupid scholars are not just um, people who might slow your your party down with wax or not very not very damaging spells, um, but now they're you know you have to contend with it. And there's a couple of areas in the archives that I know especially well are just huge trap areas, um, and I see that my other co blue sentinel whatever um, is using the shield of want and like the straight sword that's like buffed. Um, so I, I don't think too highly of their abilities as a as a player. Um, so I'm already thinking about okay, like is is the I know the red spear is probably going to run up um, that terrible landing of doom, so I need to provide him cover. Now this landing right here, like I'm, I'm sure I'll make make a video about it at some point because I would say like 25% of invasions I win in the archives. Um, are one right here in this terrible area where there's like three thralls and a scholar that's you know pouring wax on people um, and shooting spells at you and just like it's such a great choke point that can you can narrow down the party you can 
potentially knock off one or two or maybe all of them if they're reckless enough. Um, which is why I'm just taking this super methodically. Um, just chucking lightning urns because my build does a lot of damage with them. Um, but really just trying not to take any risks. And see even here, like I'm, I'm taking this slow, I'm taking this methodically. Um, I almost get killed there and so does the, the other blue. But fortunately they're able to finish them off. Um, and I get my proof of concord kept, which are so hard to get as a blue spirit. Last thing about this build um, is just being a Spear of the Church and how fun that is. Um, and I'm trying to do it with a more creative playstyle than just, you know, lightning infused <laughs> Lothar Culture Greatsword. Um, the, the only problem with being a Spear at this point in the game's life cycle um, is that there aren't a whole lot of Spears left. Um, so you'll end up fighting the same people over and over and over again. Um, and not just like throughout like a couple hours, you'll fight them all within this like session of like a couple of minutes because they can just run. It's basically based on how uh, fast they can run back to the, the fog wall. Um, so you'll end up getting the same person over and over and over again, um, which is not nearly as fun as fighting multiple people, which is why I do this. But, um, you know your Spear of the Church, it's still fun to be the boss for a little bit. Um, although, after a little while, I'll usually let them kill me, um, just because I feel bad about killing them so many times. But occasionally you come across um, someone who is very well equipped to fight um, the Spears of the Church. Um, especially a duo, and a duo with a spear is like maybe the worst thing you can encounter. Maybe the, the other worst thing would be, instead of a curved sword, maybe a spellcaster. But spears are ideal because so many weapons in this game rely on um, you getting in close um, and stun locking your opponent to to work effectively. Um, and in spears, basically, and spears and pikes really um, allow you to just stay on the outside and poke while um, the spear is occupied with someone else. Like ideally, like the the curved sword. But what you should always do as a spear of the church is target the phantoms first, because every phantom you kill is one less person you don't have to worry about. Um, but you get to keep all the same buffs that you get for there being, um, you know, multiple people in a party. Um, and I also don't think that the host was really well equipped to, um, or really knew much about the Spear of the Church fight, since you can't really stunlock me too well um, unless you get two hits on me um, with a curved sword. Um, and also they were trying to roll into the spear fragment, ground spears, whatever they're called. Um, but this guy keeps trying to heal in my face, um, and I'm just going to punish him with a great sword. And he can pretty much not stunlock me due to my my poise, um, like my old Dark Souls one like old school poise buffs, um, and just the amount of damage I'm outputting. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll put the build to the end of the video. Um, having a lot of fun playing more and more with this build, um, so probably gonna make some more videos about him soon. So yeah, stay tuned for those. Um, and thanks again for watching.